In this video we will be discussing nesting and the nesting of parts specifically. So when you have multiple parts on the same uh, build platform, um, you would like to stack them as efficiently as possible. Now when they have the same shape, it's often easy to see what would be the best orientation. But when they don't, uh, that's where the nesting algorithm comes in. So you can go to nesting by going to the move menu and then select nesting. But the command is also available in the toolbar over here. When you enter the nesting command, you can define the object spacing you would like to achieve, whether you would like to lock the rotation. So this is the rotation around the z-axis and whether you would like to allow overlapping base plates. By default, the nesting algorithm that is being used is the irregular shape nesting. So this means that you have all different kinds of shapes of objects and you would like to stack them together as efficiently as possible. When I click run, it starts to calculate and it basically tries to minimize the total area used and fill all the holes as efficiently as possible but still keep in account the 2 millimeter object spacing. So if I decrease this amount to for example 1 I can run the algorithm again it will be a bit slower because the solution will be more difficult to find But you will see that the parts are stacked much more efficiently with a one millimeter gap. Now the alternative to irregular shape nesting is rectangular nesting. So this is a very fast algorithm and it just looks at the bounding box of the part. So in here I can just set a nesting origin, for example the center, start nesting and it will just allocate the parts quickly to the center of the build platform. I can also choose, for example, bottom left. It will put them on the bottom left or any other of the corners of the platform. There's another box here with some options, which is called the nesting area. And this is basically the red square that you see around the build platform. So I could minimize the square and then nesting to the top right would basically align them to the top right of the red square. This way you could theoretically nest in multiple volumes or multiple sections of your build platform. For now I will just put it back to the entire build platform again and align my parts in the center. 